the victory in their last meeting, which, by the way, was also in this building. And with that win, they evened up the season series at one apiece, giving them a chance to pull ahead right here. Yeah, it was a narrow win. But at that last meeting, I think foul trouble for the other side may have really just tipped the scale and allowed them to escape with the W. Oh, no doubt. Playing aggressively, forcing the action, that often works in your favor, and it did the last time around. So the Rockets win the tip. So here's Oklahoma City's starting group. Inside pairing is Grant and Adams. Westbrook and Ferguson, their backcourt, and it's George in at the three spot. That one good for two. Opening night of the regular season, blue sky for every team, Doors. Optimism is high. Players thinking about all the possibilities ahead. No doubt. It's a time of tremendous optimism for both the teams and the fans of these teams. And the culmination of the work you put into the offseason, who's improved their skill level, who's added a dimension to their offensive game. We're all salivating for the start <laughs> of this year. Cannot wait. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul, shot misses. He'll be shooting two. You know, when Chris Paul came to the Rockets, a lot of people questioned if he and James Harden would be able to share the ball. Both known for being ball-dominant guards. I think you'd have to say it's worked out pretty well. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. And I think Chris Paul never comfortable with that ball-dominant label, Greg. He'd never played with another guard who could create, certainly on the level of Harden. No doubt about it. I mean, Mo P, J.J. Redick, guys who were great shooters, but really more off the ball players. Chris needed to, to be that kind of a playmaker. But with Harden, he has someone just as gifted at creating baskets for himself and others. And here are the Thunder now. Four-point game. Takes the 13-footer. And good. And it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Well, Grant has put in a ton of work in the mid-range. And you can see the results right there. Paul with the ball. Westbrook picks him up. And the foul called on Russell Westbrook. That'll be his second foul of the game. Dennis Schroeder's checked in for Russell Westbrook. We play just over a minute here in the first. Houston moving the ball around. Inside. Here's Capella. That one no good. Adams, some nice D. Here's Ferguson. A shot's good on the assist by George. Ferguson's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Harden up top. Defended by George. Here's the three. And James Harden, good for three. And that was a, a real quick comeback there. Both sides showing some range. But both teams are pulling the trigger right now, showing great confidence from behind that arc. Ferguson kicks to George. Pass to Ferguson. And here is Grant. Lock at six. Here's Adams. Rebounded by Capella. Boy, the defense collapsing and throwing him off balance on his way to the cup. And Fareed throws it down. And Harden is more than just a scorer. He's also got some sensational handles and passing instincts. Loves connecting with his teammates. And that was an Unleashed Chaos moment indeed. What a spectacular play. Sponsored by Under Armour Hover Habit. Here's Grant following the basket by Kenneth Fareed. Left side, George. Shoots over Tucker. George with the bucket. George has got his first two points of the night. There's a rhythm with which Paul George plays the game of basketball. That pace is so important. Paul finds Harden. Goes up to the stripe, and it falls over the rim and in. Harden's got seven points. Boy, the offense is really clicking. Four for five from the field to start. Nice. Grant outside. Over to the wing. Passes it to George. 
shoots from 14. Here's Adams, and that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. Adams has got his first two points. We are talking about a big-time offensive rebounder, and Steven Adams unafraid to impose his will with that frame. Now here's Paul. He had 15 points last out. Capella kicks to Harden, and Jeremy Grant picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And we're just over three and a half minutes into the first quarter. The shot's good from Paul. Boy, that's all by design now. Get the shot as soon as possible on that inbound pass. Grant outside. The pass to George. Shoots over Tucker. George missing again. And defensively moving his feet there, staying right on top of the shooter. What a great job contesting without fouling exactly how you want to defend the mid-range shot. And, and Paul has a beautiful stroke from deep. A, a gifted shooter who drains perimeter shots with consistency. Outside, George. Grant surveying the D. Six to shoot. From 12 feet out. Good work there as it goes. George has got his second basket of the game. And Paul George knocks that one down every time. He is a threat to score from any spot on the floor. The Oklahoma City Thunder with one of the more rabid fan bases, Doris, in the NBA. Well, seven straight seasons of sellouts. There's something about the love affair you find in these small market one sport towns. This is an organization that has the complete and full support of their community. Timeout is called first of the game for the Thunder. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Kevin, I got a few minutes with Billy Donovan. The season series between these teams is tied at one apiece. And I asked him about the game plan as they try to get that second win. He said, we have guys who can go up and finish at the rim. And as long as I'm coaching, that's going to be our first option. Kevin, no bones about it. They're going to attack the front of the rim every time tonight. Back to you. Thank you, David. Now we have a moment to look at how the blocks have been stacking up over the past several months for Capella. We're just not seeing that same fierceness out of him defensively these last few months. He's lost a little bit of that intimidation factor. He's not blocking as many shots, and he's not making the same impact on that end of the floor. Now here's Schroeder. 20 points for him last game against Orlando. And good that time. This is Steven Adams at his absolute best. This guy is a high percentage shooter because he understands how to use his frame. Ball again, Schroeder, a baseline J. Paul's shot is off. Man, right play, wrong result on that one. Generally, you knock those down. Yeah, that's a surprising miss, Greg. I have a feeling if they get that shot again, they'll knock it down next time. Now, here is George. Really played well against Orlando in his last outing. And it's Schroeder in the corner. Over Paul. And it's Schroeder missing. Rockets leading by five. And Jeremy Grant picks up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. And the next one puts him in the bonus. And Oklahoma City making a change here. Patterson's checked in. And here's Harden for three. Craps in the tray. Harden's got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for Houston. 
And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. Outside, George. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Oh, George is so versatile. Doris, he could play in any system, don't you think? Oh, I completely concur, Kevin. This is a man who can create offense with the ball in his hands. In a secondary role, we know he can be a knockdown shooter. And we're talking about an elite NBA defender. So any team in the league could use a player like PG. First free throw is good. And Paul George, a, a terrific two-way player, an all-star, an all-NBA performer, and multiple all-defense selections. Houston making a switch here. Gordon's checked in. And both free throws, good for Paul George. And Paul George has made it a goal to win Defensive Player of the Year. I mean, he's got tremendous length and quickness, but really his pride at that end of the floor might matter even more. I mean, he just takes great pride in being a complete player. Thunder trailing by eight. Schroeder surveying the floor. And George kicks to Patterson. Capella against George. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Well, I think the defense took that possession off. I'm pretty sure he won't miss next time. Here's Harden. And again, the Rockets good for two. Man, hard to believe. Already, they're staring at a double-digit lead, and we've just gotten started. Boy, they have come out strong. They've controlled the pace, asserted their will. Wow. Now, here's George. He has six. And the foul on Harden. That is his first foul of the game. So it's both teams making substitutions here. And Noel kicks to Felton. Six on the shot clock. It's deflected. Another shot. And here we go. Shumpert running it up the court. Great open look there. Gordon's got himself on the board with three there. Defensively giving up far too many open rhythm timeout, timeout. looks. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Austin Rivers, he's checked in for Paul. A moment now to see the numbers for Capella. Last season, he played outstanding. First in field goal percentage, second in blocks, and he also finished the season in the top 10 in rebounds. Just a terrific year on the glass. And last year, he really was the poster boy for scoring efficiency. You could count on one hand the number of bad shots he took. Now, here's Felton. Now, here's Patterson. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Here's George. Battles through traffic and lays it in. Now you have to respect the focus of Paul George, not letting the defense alter his shot. 
Now Rivers. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Sacramento. Gordon, the pass to Rivers. Dishes it to Capella. Right side, Gordon. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Aprinas, the pass to Noel. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Capella. And while we've got this moment here, now let's take a look at last season's leaders in converting turnovers into points. Number one, the Thunder. Yeah, I mean, the best in the league at forcing those miscues and, and then capitalizing at the other end. Their defense led to their offense. Now, here's George. He's got eight. And Patterson kicks to Abrinas. Clock at six. And there's a whistle that goes on Amon Shumpert. That's his first foul. Here's Noel. No points in the game yet for him. Six on the shot clock. Here's Abrinas, defended by Gordon. Gordon gets a hand on it. And, and trailing here in the first, you'd like to see them be a little more aggressive on the offensive glass. And as he squares up for mid-range, the defender right in his face. Well, classic example of crowding the shooter, not letting him get comfortable in the mid-range. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Rivers with it. And here is Capella. And the six foot eleven Clint Capella, just a phenomenal athlete. The mobility at that center spot is something really so crucial in today's game, where every team is looking to expose big men on the perimeter. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He misses the free throw. And Capella grew up in Switzerland playing soccer. A striker. Part of why he's so quick on his feet. I mean, reminiscent of another soccer playing center in Rockets history. The great Hall of Famer, Hakeem Olajuwon. Capella, you know, he's a long way from that. But anchoring a 60-win team at age 23, that's one heck of a start. Now here's Noel. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. George, that's a two-pointer. It's hauled in by Clint Capella. Capella's got rebound number five here tonight. It's tipped. Paul George with the steal. In the corner, it's felt. Down low, it's stolen by Capella. Rivers against felt. Rivers kicks to Shumper. Let's the three fly. The rebound by Patterson. Thunder trailing by nine. Pass to Abrinas. Shumper with some nice deep. Houston's gone four of five from three point land to get things going here in the first. The rebound by Patterson. And it's Felton with the ball for Oklahoma City. On the wing, George. Guarded by Shumpert. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Boy, as aggressive as he's been hitting all these shots, they're still behind. Looking at who's out there now for the Rockets. Fareed's checked in for Capella, and it's Gerald Green in for Iman Shumpert. good Paul George well Paul George smack dab in the middle of the prime of his career and maybe underestimated is his drive to win now here's Rivers he's still scoreless so far in this one 13 feet away that one falls and the Rockets lead by eight well this is a guy who understands his role in their offense right and they know exactly how to use him 
Now here's Patterson. Abrinas kicks to Patterson. Five on the clock. Oklahoma City needs to get off a shot. Stolen by Rivers. Here's Gordon. And then Gordon with the dunk. And when you build a big lead like this, especially early, you have to guard against the letdown. No, exactly right. You can't afford to get complacent, right? They have to stay hungry and humble if they want to keep this lead. Abrinas' shot is off. Houston leading by 10. Outside Gordon. And he comes up with the deuce. Gordon's got seven points. Indicative of what we've seen tonight. One team being the aggressor, the other failing to react. Right, really a disappointing effort on the defensive end. Not offering any challenge at all at the cup. And so it's the Houston Rockets. Up by a dozen here at the end of the quarter. They've been putting on a clinic in the paint. Shots are falling with regularity and they are pounding it down low. We'll get right back to the action when we return. A unique upbringing for Clint Capella. Spent years in a welfare orphanage in Switzerland. He said he never imagined he'd come this far. You know, as a kid, I wasn't even dreaming about that far. I would say that it's even past my dreams. I mean, now I'm just living the moment, trying to work hard, uh, as hard as I can, and just enjoy the present. Enjoy the present. Just an inspiring story, Greg. It gives you perspective on why you should be grateful for everything you have. Kevin, without a doubt, Capella's upbringing helped shape him, and, and the hard work he continues to put in is really admirable. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And quite a position here for the Rockets to be in. What do you think, guys? Well, already in the first period, they found ways to get this offense ramped up. I think one key is they've controlled the tempo so far. And I know it's early, but it helps to have this kind of lead. On the floor for Oklahoma City getting going here in the second quarter. And small forward and power forward, it's George and Patterson. Russell Westbrook out there with Felton. And it's Noel in at the five spot. Houston leading by 11. Well, Doris, we've seen how much organizations set the tone, set the culture from the top on down. What, what common traits have you seen among successful team owners? Well, boy, oh boy, so many, I think. Obviously, there has to be some level of financial commitment. Uh, you have to be willing to hire good talent. You have to be willing to hire coaches that you believe either developmentally are going to have a bright future, or if you're hiring an ex inexperienced coach with championship pedigree, are you willing to pay those types of positions? Uh, what is your commitment to the non-traditional aspects that we've seen take a more uh, informed role in how decisions are made? What is your analytics department made up of? What is your nutrition, your strength and conditioning, your training program? Are you hiring top-level professionals across the board? And then to me, it's always about, there's a great quote that says, any organization is defined by the worst behavior tolerated at the top of the leadership position. Mm. Now Gordon, following Patrick Patterson's three-point attempt. Gordon finds Fareed. Green taking his time here. The Rockets with another miss. And as he squares up for mid-range, the defender right in his face. Well, a classic example of crowding the shooter, not letting him get comfortable in the mid-range. My goodness, what a move there to lose the defender. Got him on his heels, and then he made it look easy from there on in. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. And the Thunder with the possession here. Following the score by Houston. And here's George for three. No basket. That's his fifth miss in 11 attempts from the floor. Well, I'll tell you, still looking for that first three of the second quarter. He had one to open this game in the first. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the stripe. 
and Austin Rivers out of Duke, an elusive 6-4 combo guard. I mean, a great handle, and, and he's found most of his offensive success with his development as a long-range shooter. It's gotten to the point now where you want him to put it on the deck. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Houston. James Harden comes in for Eric Gordon. One shot, gentlemen. Thunder trailing by 12. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. Well, I mean, he needs to talk to his guys. The interior defense has been horrific. Absolutely no rim protection whatsoever. At this point, the other team is walking all over them on the inside. And the Rockets making a change here. Paul's checked in. And taking a look here at some numbers for Russell Westbrook. Great showing for him last season. Last season, he chipped in about 25 per, 10 assists, and 10 rebounds. And he does the heavy lifting on the glass, throwing himself into the rebounding battle with just complete effort. Well, you get the feeling he believes every rebound should be his, and most of them are. This guy is putting up tremendous numbers. And guarding him on the perimeter isn't a priority for them right now, but if this continues, it will be. Paul passes to Harden. Back to Paul. Harden outside. Oh, for Reed in position. Throws down the alley oop slam. Oh, phenomenal alley oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. And Westbrook, here we go. Yeah, Westbrook just needs a sliver of space on the screen, and he is good to go. Al Harden, he picked up 36 points in the last one against Sacramento. Yeah, Kev, he was a standout on the backboards that night and got a number of big rebounds. Green against Westbrook. And there's the foul. That's on Steven Adams. That's his first foul. Here's Tucker. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Six to shoot. Puts it up from 12. That one, no good. And it's Oklahoma City the other way. Next up on the schedule, the Grizzlies. That'll be a home game. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. At his speed, Westbrook somehow still able to scan the floor and find his guys. That's nice. Down low. And it's slammed in by Fareed. I'll tell you, it takes fantastic vision and flawless timing to produce an assist like that. Shooter kicks to Westbrook. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. The motor of Russell Westbrook is absolutely amazing. This guy stays with his shot even through the tough contact. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And the free throw line was a problem spot for him in their last game. Really struggled up there. Free throw no good for Westbrook. 
Well, Doris, at times out there, things get a little heated. Some people feel like the whistle's being blown too quickly on some of these technical fouls. What do you think? I would actually completely disagree, Kevin. I think there are certain players who are given far too much latitude and others for whom the whistle does come too quickly. So I think it would be better and more helpful to the officials, the teams, and also the fans to understand what is and what does cross a line. Because to me, there's no consistency. There's a lot of confusion. Uh, and I think it works both ways. Sometimes too long of a leash, sometimes too short. Excellent appraisal. Catching up on the changes for Houston. Clint Capella comes in for Fareed. And Shumpert in there for Gerald Green. And there's the foul. That's on Steven Adams. That'll be his second foul of the game. Okay, now you've got to dial down the intensity a bit, right? That's his second foul, and we still got a ways to go before halftime. Out to the right wing. Tucker finds Capella. Basket good. And the Rockets lead by nine. That's their third straight make off an assist. Outside Westbrook. Looking for Adams. He gets it there. Hammers the alley-oop through. Well, simply put it in the vicinity of Steven Adams, and his great hands makes that dunk look easy. Outside jumper. Capella, high post. Paul, no one around him. From outside, off the mark. Well, that's the shot they want. He always has the green light when he's that open. Boy, one miss isn't going to change that. Count it, and the Houston lead has been cut down to five on the bucket from Russell Westbrook. You know, rough start for him, but he seems to have turned the corner here in the second period. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. And Greg, certainly the knock on Dennis Schroeder is play on the defensive end. Nobody questions how effective he is on offense. I just think he has a tendency to take a few too many plays off and too many chances on defense. If he wants to be viewed as a top point guard in this league, he'll need to show some consistency on the defensive end. And a chance to now check out the scoring distribution between the front court and the back court players tonight for Houston. And it's been guard play, which really has shouldered the burden offensively here. They'd like a bit more production from the front court, but in the meantime, this back court has kept them in the game. Now here's Paul. He's got nine. Fires the three. Buries the long-range jumper. Paul's got 12 in the game. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. Shooter kicks to Westbrook. Jacks up a three. That one's in there. Rocket lead is cut to just five on the basket from Schroeder. And that was a, a real quick comeback there. Both sides showing some range. Well, both teams are pulling the trigger right now, showing great confidence from behind that arc. Now, here's Paul. 12 points for him. Back to Harden. Shot clock at six. Pass to jump. There's the three. Houston working now with the new shot clock. Out of bounds. Oklahoma City takes possession. Let's give a look now at the 2K leaderboard to see who led the league in assists last year. Russell Westbrook, number one. James Harden, third. And really two terrific distributors. I mean, the first thing you look for in a teammate is the ability to get you the ball. And they both have that down to a team. Here's Westbrook and the rejection by Harden. Lob pass to Capella. And the dunk by Capella. Well, you really have to like the control of Shumpert there. Let's the play develop and made the pass for an easy hoop. Nice. Shooter kicks to Adams. 
Back to Schroeder. And he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. And he just leaves the D in the dust and explodes to the basket. You're right. Uh, maybe a momentum changer right there, huh? And we can blame it on a terrible defensive breakdown, one that could possibly swing the momentum here. Now here's Shumpert. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. All right, a chance to check out stats for Harden. Last season, he played outstanding. Tops in scoring. Third in assists. And, of course, he's got a nose for the ball. He ranked in the top ten in steals last season. And his unmatchable instincts for scoring the basketball. That's what made him number one last year. You can't stop him. And you can't even really contain him. No good on that one. And Shumpert needs to keep working on his stroke from the free throw line. One of the weak aspects of his game. Abrinas has checked in for Oklahoma City. Second free throw, no good. Well, you think to Stephen Adams, and coming out of New Zealand, playing about one year at the University of Pittsburgh, now in his fifth season as a starter for the Thunder. And what a pivotal guy he's become for this franchise. Here's Abrinas. He kicks to Adams. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Now it's just a three-point Houston lead. I'll tell you, Steven Adams could be a force in the pick and roll. There are not many defenders who want to get in his way when he's the roll man. Harden outside. Capella trying to free himself up. Second chance shot, and the layup is good. Capella's got six here in this quarter. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Paul with the steal. Lays it in off the breakaway. And it's a seven-point Houston lead. And it's no secret that Paul is an energetic defender, constantly swiping at the ball and ripping away steal. Here's Abrinas. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And that one's good. Schroeder. And Stephen Adams drafted by OKC with the 12th pick in 2013. That draft pick, a centerpiece of the James Harden trade. And that trade will go down as one of the great conversation pieces of all time, whether or not you should have moved James Harden. But the reality is where Adams is concerned, they got a two-way big man with incredible athleticism, unbelievable physical strength, and an evolving offensive game. So this is one piece of the trade that you have made great use of. And any discussion about CP3 has to start with his hands. The dribble moves, all the steals he gets, he uses his hands better than just about anybody. Shooting two. First one falls for him. A different look for Oklahoma City. Maryland's Noel checks in for Jeremy Grant. And Paul George is subbed in for Ferguson. And Paul drills both of them. Thunder trailing by five. Schroeder kicks to Adams. To the inside. And Adams with the slam. Don't you love it when you've got a small forward who can pass the basketball just like Paul George did there? Makes it look easy. Passes to Capella. To the paint. Paul with the bucket. Paul's got 18 points in the game. Boy, the consistency he's had tonight has been impressive. Really steady from the field. Here's the lob to Adams. And Adams with the slam. I'll tell you, Adams becoming more and more of a target on the offensive end. Superb at sinking shots close to the rim because of his size. Now here's Paul. 18 points for him. To the inside. And the rejection by Noel. Ball against Schroeder. 
kicks to Noel. Out left to the wing. Here's Abrinas, defended by Gordon. Just five to shoot. Launches it. They get it again. Got it, and the Houston lead has been cut down to just one on the bucket from Noel. Don't you love how Noel just sticks with it? Never gives up on the possession, working really hard for his guys. Inside. Here's Shumper. It's hauled in by Adams. Adams has got four rebounds in this game. To the middle. Noel dishes to Schroeder. Some nice passing by Oklahoma City here. To the paint. Here's George. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Schroeder's got his third assist on the night. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Now here's Paul. 23 seconds left in the first half of the game. To the middle. It's tipped. And as it goes out of bounds, Houston able to keep the ball. Playing with lots of energy here, trying to cause turnovers. I love the tenacity right now. Definitely on the prowl, looking for every opportunity to make a steal. The other team has got to be sharp. Down to five on the shot clock. Cans the 12-footer. Paul's got 20. And guys, when Paul kicks it up a notch, it's thrilling to watch. Always in attack mode. Great at looking for his shot and making the D pay. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. Felton kicks to George. Over Green. And that one released in time, but no good. A big-time effort for Chris Paul, providing a lot of energy for Houston. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks, guys. Here with head coach Billy Donovan. Coach, it's been back and forth in the first half. What's it going to come down to? Well, obviously, it's close. We know we're playing against a great team, so we just got to keep grinding and keep playing. We'll see how it turns out, Coach. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. Chris Paul had a huge first quarter. He had 20 points and two steals. Kenny, what do you think about the Rockets? Well, I think they're feeling the energy of this hometown crowd. Sometimes you get a little complacent and comfortable in your surroundings, but no, they fed off adrenaline in the first half. And now, Shaq, let's get your opinion on Oklahoma City. They did some good things, but not enough. They need to start being more assertive. Go harder to the rim. Generate some free throw opportunities at the very least. Do something. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. Welcome back, everyone. The sign says, we love Houston. I think it speaks for all of us. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. It's been a clinic by Chris Paul. And through the first two periods, it seemed he got to the paint whenever he wanted to. Just a slasher's mentality. You know, my favorite thing, Greg, I think he showed no fear in attacking the defense. He got on the interior with ease. And so Westbrook will bring it up for Oklahoma City. They trail by one. The engine of this team, Paul and Harden in the backcourt. Kenneth Fareed is out there with P.J. Tucker. And it's Capella in at the five. 
They're the group for Mike D'Antoni starting the second half. Now, here's George. Four on the clock. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And Russell West, he is a standard bearer for the Jordan brand with his own signature shoe, Greg. Few players have ever been as competitive as Michael Jordan, but you think Westbrook may be in that conversation? No doubt about it. The similarities don't end there. The, the surreal athleticism, the will to dominate, and that fire, finding grudges to motivate them to their highest level. I think there's a kinship in how MJ and Russ approach the game. That free throw, no good. Russell Westbrook's mantra is, why not? Way of daring himself to greater heights. I think, Kevin, in time, it became a way to build confidence to take on the world. That why not? Who says you can't? He lives by that maxim, and I love it, Kevin. And he sinks the second. Listen, there's no doubt he feels like they should have the lead, but that miss will keep it all tied up. Down low. Capella kicks it to Tucker. Paul with the ball. Harden outside. Buries it from three-point range. Harden's got 17. It doesn't matter how a defense plays him. Harden is going to make sure that that three-point shot is a primary weapon. Here's Ferguson. It's a three-point game. Grant, right side, stolen by Fareed. Lob pass to Capella. I'll tell you, that's aggressive passing. Threading it down low and setting up the bucket inside. Really nice. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. And Chris Paul picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And it's the Thunder with the ball. It's a five-point game. And Clint Capella is going to pick up a foul. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. Right side, George. Westbrook feeling it out a bit. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. You see a chart here for the shooting performance so far for George. And everything he's touched has turned to gold. If you are on defense, you have to make sure all five players know exactly where he is at all times. Because if he gets Take a, a break. sliver Take a break. of a look, he'll get Two it done. Shots. And he makes the first. When you think about Billy Donovan, to me, he's a guy who values trust and building relationships with players. This guy is not a dictator. He wants to help players grow and develop, and that helps you win. And both free throws good for Westbrook. And for Coach Billy Donovan, the process of developing NBA players' doors has to be different than it was in college. Oh, no doubt. At the pro level, many guys are making more money than you are. A lot of them have families. They've already grown into themselves. But to me, he still emphasizes the fact that great relationships with your players is important. Now, here is Harden. 17 points in the game. Here's Paul. Back to Harden. Elbow shot is on the way. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. And taken away by Paul. Now the dish to Harden. Harden draws the double. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And so here is Oklahoma City. Thunder trailing by five. Westbrook kicks to Grant. Hey, 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 
Back to Westbrook. Clock at six. Over Paul. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. We know this, Kevin. This mid-range game has always been attached to Russell Westbrook. Harden right side. Here's the three. It's hauled in by Adams. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Here's Ferguson. Got a piece of it. Paul with the steal. Oh, and a fast break for the Rockets over Westbrook. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. 22 points for Chris Paul. Crafty move. He recognizes the size disadvantage, and the mid-range is close enough. I'll tell you, that's really clever because it's not easy to get that mid-range off over a guy who's got a size advantage. He made it look easy. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Kevin, the league has unveiled a five-point plan to improve player-referee relations. Things became heated last season with a lot of star players ejected for arguing with officials. The emphasis on respect and clear standards of conduct on both sides can only help. Kevin? Very good point, David. Completely agree. Thanks. And here's the 2K leaderboard with the list of the league's top shot blockers from last season. Second is Clint Capella. And shot blocking is the element of the game that I think he cares about the most. That's where he puts in that effort and energy. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Grant outside. And George kicks to Westbrook. Shot clock at five. Rockets with the rebound. They've led by as many as 14 points. Here's Tucker. The three-pointer no good. And so Westbrook will bring it up for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Trailing by five. Some nice passing by Oklahoma City here. Grant up top. Fareed defending. Here's Ferguson over Harden and a kind roll that time off the rim as that one falls. Ferguson's got five now. Rockets leading by three. Here's Harden and the jam by Harden. Yeah, just constantly attacking the paint. Harden does not settle. For Oklahoma City, they've gone two of four here to start the second half. Westbrook kicks to George. Outside Westbrook. And it's Grant in the corner. No good from outside. The defense not doing its job there. Left him wide open, and I'm sure he's kicking himself for not cashing in. The pass to Tucker. Capella, high post. Paul outside. And the Rockets getting another bucket right there. Incredibly reliable as a scorer. He's always looking for ways to help the team succeed. It's happening again tonight. Here's Ferguson, guarded by Hart. Pass to Ferguson. Westbrook against Paul. Shoots from 14. And he overshot that one, missing. Boy, the mid-range becomes slightly more difficult when the defense is as active as they are there. Harden outside. Capella kicks to Fareed. Over Grant. 
Kicks it out to Paul. There's the triple. And that basket to his impressive total. Brings him to 10 for 14. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Thunder trailing by 10. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Grant outside. And it goes out of bounds. Uh, last touch by Paul. And looking now at some numbers for Steven Adams. He had a strong showing last season. Fourth in field goal percentage. And he did his share on the glass. Battled his way into the top 15 in rebounds per game. And yeah, he's one of the most efficient scorers in the league for sure. Moves without the ball. Avoids taking the bad shots. That's why he was top five in field goal percentage last year. Boy, what's better than Nerland's Noel playing with force on the interior? What a big reason he's earned this trip to the line. First trip to the line for him here. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. That's good from Noel. And you know, guys, listen, Noel brings value. The reason he's a menace on the defensive end and an absolute warrior on the glass. So he gets them both. Houston leading by eight. Harden outside. And he elevates for the slam dunk. Nerlens Noel did not like that at all. And it's another James Harden special we're witnessing here tonight. I think this fella's got some game. That instant replay brought to you by Under Armour Hover Habit, giving us a chance to relive the unleashing of chaos that time. Noel passes to Westbrook. Cans it from downtown. Westbrook's got eight points here in this quarter. I tell you, there are players who can get thrown off when they're that wide open, but this guy keeps his cool and doesn't rush it. And Harden wide open. He shoots. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Thunder trailing by seven. Outside, Felton. In the corner, it's Westbrook. Good. And a nice assist from Felton. 19 points for Russell Westbrook. Great quarter for him at the offensive end, trying to wheel his team back in the game. You know, Raymond Felton comes out of North Carolina, and he's the fifth overall pick back in 2005. It's incredible to me that this is his 14th season. The first nine he started, I don't know that people realize that. Doris, talk about what's kept Felton around this long. You know what, Kevin? For every organization that Raymond Felton has ever played on, the head coach loves him. And why is that? Well, one, he understands how to run a team from the point guard position. He's a low-mistake player that takes great care of the basketball. He's Take willing to mentor younger players. I would sort of liken him to that game manager quarterback, somebody who you know what you're going to get on a night-by-night -night basis. And there is huge value to NBA head coaches when you get that. And the first one drops. Boy, is he really getting after it here in the second half, just drawing a ton of fouls. Green, he's checked in for Houston. Alex Sabrinas has checked in for the Thunder. That one misses, so he goes one for two. So Russell Westbrook, the man who only got a college scholarship because someone else didn't want it, comes into the NBA as simply an athletic combo guard, has turned himself into one of the NBA's best. What a story, Mr. Harlan. He's shooting four for seven at the foul line in the game. Gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. No 
No good on the free throw. And, and he may not be converting every chance he gets at the line, but at least he's creating those opportunities. Love the aggressiveness. He hits the second from the line. And so it's Rivers with it. He'll bring it up for the Rockets. They've led by as many as 14 points. There's Gordon with the three. Drills it from outside. Gordon's got 12. It's so many of Gordon's shots come from three-point range because he drains so many of them. When you've had his kind of success from beyond the arc, you're always going to have the green light. And all of a sudden, the shot's now falling in bunches. Time the out, complexion out. of this game has completely changed. Oh, their communication on offense is working at every level now. These guys are really cohesive. What a run. Now a timeout called by Houston. And they're committing an awful lot of fouls here, and not of the good variety. You don't want to give up easy layups, sure, but it's been a nonstop parade to the foul line. And now, here's the 2K leaderboard with the teams that last season scored the most second-chance points in the NBA. Number one, the Thunder. Yeah, that was a huge factor for them a season ago. Their ability to attack the offensive glass and then convert those into second-chance buckets. I mean, no one did it better. Now, here's Green. And the call will be against Alex Abrinas. That's his first foul. Rivers against Felton. Rivers finds Fareed over Westbrook. Boy, the ground Russell Westbrook can cover. It's incredible. The speed, the wingspan, breathtaking. Here's Patterson. Can't tie it up as that one misses. Houston's gone three of seven from three-point range here in quarter number three. Gordon, the pass to Rivers. Back to Gordon. Inside, just five on the clock. Fareed, no good. On offense, here are the Thunder. They're on a 13-5 run here. For the tie. Outside for Felton. Over Rivers. There's Noel. It counts, and the foul. It goes on Kenneth Fareed. Well, Kev, he might have a wiry frame, but Nerland's Noel has deceptive strength. Makes the D look helpless there. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. Dennis Schroeder's checked in for Russell Westbrook. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. And the free throw is good. Now leading by one. One thing we've seen from these guys is excellent passing. No doubt about it. It's fun to watch the way they're operating as a team right now. They are all in sync. Now here's Rivers. Pass to Fareed. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. Fareed's got eight. This uh, game has a lot of character here in the third period. Six changes of the lead here. Intensity is the theme for this one. There's Noel. No good with the layup. 
Boy, not enough spring in his step on the way to the cup. He actually short arms that layup. Gordon laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Gordon's got five points now this quarter. And guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. Well, the D can't stick with him, Kevin. This is uh, Nerland's Noel, a huge force on those close shots to the basket. Here's Rivers, following the score by Oklahoma City. We've got 123 left in the third. And a chance to check out some stats for Gordon. Some last season stats for him. Averaged about 18 points a game. Two assists and two rebounds. He has been terrific throughout, putting up some huge numbers offensively. Well, and this is exactly who he is, a flat-out scoring machine. You plug him in and let him go to work. The first one falls. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Thunder trailing by three. Schroeder kicks to Patterson. 112 left in the third quarter. In the corner, it's felt stolen by Rivers. Back to Gordon. Pass to Rivers. Clock at four. Three-pointer. The three-pointer is right on target. Rivers has got eight points. Oh, that's some fancy ball handling right there since when does he take guys off the dribble? The drive by Schroeder. And Noel throws it down. And he's now got the double-double. 11 points and 10 rebounds. Oh, Kev, love the connection Noel has built with his teammates. Smart at knowing when to time that alley-oop. They kick it out to Green. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. Well, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Schroeder outside. Pass to Patterson. Three-pointer. He can't get that one. And a really smart defender there. He just reads the play, wastes no time trying to blow it up. Almost like he was anticipating the play call, right? You love the hustle. And so it's Houston bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. Back right after this. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm Assist of the Game. Uh, just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? We call that, Greg, putting it right in the pocket. And he knew what to do with it once it was there. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. A moment now to reset the lineups back to us by Gatorade, all fueled up here for the fourth quarter. So for Oklahoma City right now, the four and the five are Grant and Noel. Dennis Schroeder is out there with Felton, and it's Abrinas in at the three, the small forward. Rivers finds Green, connects from three-point range. Green's got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for Houston. Outside, Felton. Over to the wing. Here's Abrinas, guarded by Shumpert. 
Six to shoot over Green. Felton can't get it to go. Well, you, you see the struggles he's having getting anything to go. Yeah, I mean, he's obviously cold right now, but he's trying to find that rhythm. You've got to keep working. To the right side. Abrinas, the shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Schroeder's got his fifth assist in this one. Houston leading by eight. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone right now. Rivers kicks to Green. And another three for Houston. That's a dozen straight points coming off the triple. And it's Schroeder with the ball. He brings it up for Oklahoma City. Grant outside. Right wing. Oklahoma City moving it around. Abrinas the pass to Schroeder. In the corner, it's felt. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. And a quick look at how the Oklahoma City Thunders schedule is shaping up. On Thursday, they'll be matching up against Mike Conley and the Memphis Grizzlies. Then on Saturday, they'll be facing Drew Holiday and the New Orleans Pelicans. And for the matchup with the Jazz, I think they know how important it is to see how they measure up against the cream of the crop in the West. I'm looking for them to approach it like this is a playoff matchup. Up top, Rivers. He's guarded by Schroeder. A nice shot by Rivers. I'll tell you, that's a graceful finish. Not just any old layup. The teardrop. Thunder trailing by 13. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Drills it from outside. Very good awareness from Grant. Just the ability to catch and shoot. So important to his growth. Green kicks to Rivers. The three. And there's Green on the assist by Rivers. Green's got 12 points here in the second half. And certainly they are not hesitating. Letting it fly from deep here in the second half. Outside Felton. The three. Rockets with the rebound. Capella's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. With him scoreless in the latter part of this one, it's awfully hard to come back. And then Rivers with the dunk. Just relentless. Uh, really impressed with how they've been able to maintain that focus. I think it's obvious, Greg. They want this win. They're showing no let up in their attack right now. Now here's Felton. And it's Abrinas in the corner. Good. And a nice assist from Felton. Felton has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Amazing recognition by Felton. Time Sees out, the wide out. open man. Sends it on time and on target. Now a timeout called by Houston. And the Thunder with some changes. Steven Adams, he's checked in for Noel. Paul George comes in for Alex Abrinas. And Terrence Ferguson subbed in for Raymond Felton. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, during that break, Mike D'Antoni talked to his team. He still wants them to be aggressive and assertive on offense. He said, I don't want us to get content with this lead. Build on it. Don't give them any chance of getting back in this thing. Kevin? Well, Kev, how about Jeremy Grant playing to his strength? Uses that athleticism to finish that one with authority. 
Here's Harden. And they pick up two. Harden's got 25 points in the game. I'm sorry. That's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. Here's Ferguson, guarded by Harden. And there's the foul. It will go on P.J. Tucker. That's his first foul. And the All-Star game last season, Doris. No more East versus West format. Do you think when it's all said and done, the league will get rid of conference basketball altogether? This is a challenging question for me because the WNBA went to seeding teams from 1 through 16, and it didn't matter whether you were West or East. And it has led to the most competitive era in a much-needed WNBA growth period. But the reality is, Kevin, I am very much a traditionalist. And the rivalries in both the Eastern and Western conferences historically have been phenomenal. Whether it was Jordan playing Detroit and having to overcome them, or Boston and Detroit, or the Lakers versus Sacramento briefly when Chris Webber's teams couldn't get over the hump. So this is a hard question for me. I'm not sure which side of the fence I fall on. Wow, hats off to him for making that one. You can't find a much tougher shot than that. Paul kicks to Harden to the inside. Here's George. Outside Westbrook. Ferguson the pass to George. And again, Oklahoma City with the triple. Well, Kevin, that was from the parking lot. Paul George very assured from distance. The pass to Tucker. Capella, high post. Paul outside. Poked loose. Five to shoot. Feeds it to George. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. George has got seven now in this quarter. And when you thought this fourth quarter was simply a formality, all of a sudden the offense picks up, and now we have a game. Now, here is Harden. It's blocked. Outside Westbrook. To the inside, George. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Now, just a five-point Rocket lead. And so it's Paul with it, bringing it up for the Rockets. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Pass to Ferguson. Back to Westbrook. Pass to Ferguson. Paul against Westbrook. In the corner, George with it. Five on the clock. And the layup's good off the glass. George has got 29 in the game. What you love about Paul George is if he understands he's got his game in rhythm, he's going to stay aggressive. Paul against Westbrook. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. And so here is Houston. And Tucker kicks to Harden. Five to shoot. On loads. They get it again. Capella dishes to Fareed. To end the cold streak. Capella trying to free himself up. Fareed, no good. Thunder trailing by three. Guy is a potent offense right now. You know what, guys? And they're playing with a certain amount of assuredness in their game. That type of confidence is what leads teams to having success. Ferguson kicks to Grant. Passes it to Westbrook. Six on the shot clock. Good again. He's on tonight. Nine for 13 shooting. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now especially on the interior. They get a hand on it, and it's going to be out of bounds. The Rockets will retain possession. Oh. 
Oklahoma City on D. It's a one-point game. And George gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. Reed finds Capella shooting foul as the whistle blows he'll shoot two free throws well at the start of the summer many expected a busy market for Capella in free agency eventually though signing a four-year deal to remain with the Rockets I feel like it's a great deal for Houston as Capella gives them the perfect inside presence to complement Harden and Paul That one is off. And the second free throw, good. And really, if not for the miss, they'd be sitting in a much better position. Oklahoma City trailing. Westbrook kicks to Ferguson. On the wing, George. Over to the left wing. Lock at six. Here's Grant. Outside for George. And the Thunder, another three. Boy, this guy has been transcendent this quarter. Something really lit a fire underneath this guy. Harden scanning the floor. He dishes it to Tucker. Now the pass to Paul. Houston moving the ball around. Launches a three. It's hauled in by George. George has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's Westbrook. The shot's good on the assist by George. And it's a three-point Oklahoma City lead. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Harden outside to the wing right side. A nice shot by Tucker. I know he's not the most efficient long-range shooter, but Tucker hits enough of those to space out the defense. Oklahoma City's gone 4 6 from beyond the arc in the fourth quarter so far. Ferguson kicks to Grant. Pass to Ferguson. Westbrook against Paul. And Westbrook, here we go. He gets it in there. Westbrook's got six in the quarter. Wow. You know the ball is going in when Russell Westbrook steps into these moments. Just so adept at hitting big shots. Now, here is Harden. Harden draws the double. He kicks to Tucker. Inside, Paul passes to Capella. At the elbow, Paul. Harden outside for three. And it's out of bounds. They say last touch by Adams. One fifty-six left to play here in the fourth. And Fareed kicks to Paul. Five on the clock. And Jeremy Grant picks up the foul. That's his fifth foul. There's a minute 47 left here in the fourth quarter. Now here's Harden. T right on him. Six on the shot clock. Stolen by Grant. And here's Westbrook. It's George on the wing. Adams, the pass to Ferguson. Outside Westbrook. Here's the lob to Adams. Wow, Stephen Adams continuing to evolve. How about the clutch delivery? 122 left in the fourth quarter. 
Now here's Harden. Pass to Paul. Here's Tucker. Nailed from three-point land. Listen, we know this isn't the most prolific score, but Tucker can burn you if you give him too much room to operate. And Chris Paul picks up the foul. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. Fifty nine seconds left to play in the final quarter. Ball against Westbrook. Sinks it. Fearless. Time out, time out. Decisive. On point. Which is exactly what you have to be, especially when your team needs a bucket. Timeout called the Rockets. They're behind by three. 51 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. chance now to recognize our Jordan player of the game, Russell Westbrook. And guys, no doubt who our pick was going to be. Uh, he's made everyone else on the court look like they're playing at half speed. It's been total domination, and you can't help but just sit back and admire that performance. Fifty-one seconds left in the fourth quarter. To the inside. Good! And that shot brings them to within just one. Boy, defender taken out of the play with a rock-solid screen. No way he's going to get through that. Passes it to Ferguson. Six to shoot. Money! And they've got timeout, a foul to give here if they need it. Timeout called. The Rockets. They trail by three. 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Twenty-three seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. You too. And the Rockets with possession here. Harden kicks to Paul. And Adams sends it back. And the defense of Steven Adams is so important to this team. They depend on him to be a rim protector now. Yeah, you, you can't let him hold the ball and just milk those last seconds away. A 
gentlemen. Two shots. Two shots. Good on the first, and that gives them a four-point cushion. So he gets them both, and it's a five-point game. You've got to figure those are the free throws that officially put this game out of reach. And Tucker kicks to Paul. It's money from deep. Time out, time out. You know, that's an area where Tucker continues to improve, making the extra pass. Time called here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. They're up by two. Three seconds left in the fourth quarter. Stop the clock so there's a foul. Uh, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. First free throw missing for him. We'll see if he can nail the second. And he ends up missing both free throws. And Grant works hard on the defensive end of the floor. His activity and wingspan, big hands, really paying dividends. So a close game sees Oklahoma City taking this one. They break the hearts of every fan in the building with a dramatic late victory. And, Kevin, this is the kind of win you have to take a ton of pride in. I mean, they battled with everything they had and came through when the pressure was at its highest. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Paul. Congrats on the win. Where is your team's attitude right now? Continue to, you know, play together. And we can just stick to that, keep working, staying confident, keep defending, um, and knocking shots down. We'll be all right. Looked like it all came together tonight, Paul. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.